Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to continue working on part 15 of this building. Let's get started. So in the previous video, I showed you how to um, transfer this to twin motion. And then we added some trees and then some cars. And then we're going to continue populate it. Um, you also uh, changed some of the materials. And then now, uh, what I want us to concentrate is the uh, Sky Dome. So we're going to choose our Sky Dome. And with this Sky Dome, we're going to set the mood of the building. And how we're going to um, show it. So here, um, I'm going to click more. And then we're going to choose... Uh, low sun and then I'm going to choose cloudy and then we're going to choose well, something from here I kind of like something like this one so I'm going to drag it there it's already downloaded for me so that means I already use it on some of uh, my build Okay, so this will be the look of the building. Uh, we could just rotate. And what I'm going to do is, maybe I'm going to increase the, the floor here. Um, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add in some buildings. The building will create more more of the background and it, it will um, set uh, the mood as well on what we're trying to accomplish here. So we could basically do this and then we could highlight the building that we created. So this is just to extend what we have. We also need to add in some, so we're going to have probably two uh, spot. It's either or three spot like this view range as well and then here as well we need to add more building And then we need some backgrounds as well. So we need to add more, more buildings just to make it look like we're in the city. Just gonna drop this a little bit so that we don't see that blinking.
happens. Also, we need the 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 bounce of the mirror as well, so the reflection. So that's why we're we're adding this. Okay. So probably you might delete this. So this one, I'm just going to delete that. And then I'm just going to add in some So we could have something like this and then add some trees right there on the spot and also with this we're gonna we're gonna extend some and then add some trees in terms of weather I want it to be wet like this and then for the light I'm gonna decrease the exposure something like that and then the sun intensity down and the ambient But if we do something like this, we need to probably add some lighting. So let's go add some trees. I'm going to add some trees right about here. So I'm going to click that so that I could add multiple. And then some big, big trees as well.
I'm just adding more here. And then press escape. Check how it looks. So it looks good like that. And then here as well, we're going to add some trees. And then here, we're going to add that as well. creating that boundary we need that so that it doesn't show the background and it will look um, a lot there so for this one, I'm going to check on the light again. And then let's go to camera and then visual effects. Sorry, let's go back to lighting. And then the white balance. I'm going to drop it like that. Around 7, 7, 7, 7561K. That will be fine. And then let's go now to camera. And change this. And saturation and then sometimes I add some filter mostly what I'm I do is I go to line light to give it more pop I'm planning to go back here and just add in more so let's add in more trees in front to give it more cover there Okay. So here I'm ready to click on So let's go back here at media and then drop it like that. And then click image. And then now what we could do is go to our camera. And we need to
change something. We need to change our focal point. Okay, so that looks good. I'm going to choose this. And basically, I'm just going to redo this shot. So basically, that's how I will create this. So thank you for watching and hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.